Nine seductive facts about Cleopatra, the queen of the Nile. Cleopatra VII Philopater was the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic kingdom of Egypt. As a member of the Ptolemaic dynasty, she was a descendant of its founder Ptolemy I Soter, a Macedonian Greek general and companion of Alexander the Great. After the death of Cleopatra, Egypt became a province of the Roman Empire, marking the end of the second to last Hellenistic state, an age that had lasted since the reign of Alexander, 336 to 323 BC. Her native language was Koine Greek, and she was the only Ptolemaic ruler to learn the Egyptian language. Even today, over 2,000 years after her death, Cleopatra remains one of history's most intriguing and memorable women. And for good reason, her reign is rich in story and scandal. The Egyptian queen commanded her own army, enamored not one, but two Roman rulers, and inspired countless works of art, literature, and film. Her prowess as a ruler made her legendary, and the stories of her romances with Julius Caesar and Mark Antony made her unforgettable. Here are nine seductive facts about Cleopatra, Queen of the Nile. Number one, not the first. When you say Cleopatra in modern times, there's only one Queen of the Nile most people think of, but Cleopatra was actually the seventh woman in the Ptolemaic dynasty to bear that name. She's officially known as Cleopatra the seventh Philopater. The name Cleopatra means she who comes from glorious father. Number two, foreign influence. Why would an Egyptian queen bear a Greek name, you might ask? Why, it's because she was actually Greek. Cleopatra's family, the Ptolemies, migrated to Egypt from Greece. So while Cleopatra was born in Egypt, she was in fact Macedonian Greek by origin. Number three, the beauty myth. The name Cleopatra has become synonymous with exotic beauty and allure, but the real Cleopatra's beauty was further down the list of her charms. Coins showing her face display a somewhat homely woman with a hooked nose. She likely made herself appear more masculine in looks and in manner in order to project a more powerful demeanor. Number 4. Smear Campaign The reputation Cleopatra acquired as a brazen beauty and irresistible temptress isn't just a modern-day misconception. Accounts from ancient Roman history depict Cleopatra using her feminine charms to bewitch and influence powerful men of the ancient world. Her wit and intelligence were often downplayed or overshadowed entirely by her sexiness in accounts written by her Roman critics. Number 5. Short Life, Big Mark For all the marks she made on the world, Cleopatra only lived 39 years. She was born in 69 BC and died by suicide in August of 30 BC, but more on that later. Her story is important not just for her exploits, but also for the greater course of history. When Cleopatra was born in 69 BC, just over 2100 years ago, it was at the end of the Egyptian pharaoh dynasties and the beginning of a new phase in Egyptian history. Number 6. Pearls Before Romans Cleopatra's last lover before her death was Mark Antony, the Roman politician and general. The pair loved playing games and pranks with one another, and one in particular has become the stuff of legend. In one of Antony and Cleopatra's elaborate contests, she bet him that she could throw the most expensive dinner in history. After an unremarkable first course, Antony mocked her attempt. He had no idea what was coming next. When Mark Antony was served his second course, he was shocked to discover that his dish contained only strong vinegar. Cleopatra plucked a priceless pearl from her earrings and dropped it into the vinegar. It began to dissolve and she promptly gulped it down. It turned out to be quite the expensive cocktail. Number 7. Dry Reception The first three years of Cleopatra's reign were tough. When Cleopatra took the throne, Egypt was already beset by a terrible drought. Low Nile flooding meant that crops failed, trade suffered, people went hungry, and less money was made. Political unrest caused by the bad conditions made a coup against Cleopatra almost inevitable. But as always, she had an ace up her sleeve. Number 8. Leap Years Cleopatra is responsible for a confounding phenomenon that we still deal with today. During Cleopatra's relationship with Caesar, she introduced him to her astronomer, Sosagines of Alexandria. It was Sosagines who proposed the idea of leap years and leap days. Caesar adopted the idea and reformed the Roman calendar in 45 BC, and the Egyptian calendar followed suit. 
all those of you born on February 29th who only get to celebrate their birthday once every four years have her to thank. Number 9. She's Got a Type After the death of Ptolemy XIII, there was just one heir eligible for the Egyptian throne left, another younger brother, this one named Ptolemy XIV. So she married him. After all, it had worked with the last brother. But as we know, Cleopatra wasn't interested in sharing the throne with anyone. And once again, the wheels began turning in her mind. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell icon if you enjoyed the video. See you next time.